Oh, well, what's up? What's up, Hi, buddy. My buddy Zach. What's up, man? What's going on, Danny? Um, we're doing my first ever podcast from my living room couch. It's Flat Earth Watertown, New York. Like and subscribe. Share my videos. Do what you can to help me out. Well, I wanted to ask Zach, how did you hear about Flat Earth? And tell me your journey and how long you've known. I can't recall exactly when I heard about Flat Earth for the first time, honestly. But for some time now... I've been convinced that I was lied to as a child growing up about certain shapes of certain things, you know what I mean? And, uh, well, I've been, any, I don't know, I've been, anything I can, any, any free time I had for a while, I would dedicate to looking into further the flat earth and the conspiracies behind it, you know, like, when I first heard about Admiral Byrd and all the information behind that and the Rockefellers, and yeah, funding, funding the whole expedition and looking further into that and seeing that that was real. So you have to do your own research in order to discover. So, yeah, you got to look more. You, can, yeah. you can't just look at one thing and say, "Hey, that's how it happened." But when several sources are pointing you in the same direction and there's mm -hmm. actually like the fact that they had unlimited funding for that and the things that he said, talking about talking about the wall and, and all that and losing how however many people they lost on that expedition was supposed to last like six months. Ended up lasting what a couple weeks. Right. Or eight months lasted, ended up lasting six weeks. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember how long. But for me, I'll tell you how I found out. It was May 6, 2017. Um, we're over at my buddy Harry's house, and we're playing a video game, and this kid Ryan tells me, Hey, Donnie, what if I tell you the Earth's flat, what you say? Well, I said, I've seen the Rocky Mountains, and they don't look flat to me. That was my answer. I went back to playing video games. A couple hours later, I went home and it was stuck in my head. I didn't know why Flat Earth was on my mind, but I went to YouTube and I looked it up. Hundreds of videos popped up, Zach. Hundreds. And I picked one that said, What on Flat Earth does the Bible say? Because it caught my curiosity that it mentioned the Bible about Flat Earth. So I click on it and I got convinced in 30 seconds because the narrator started quoting scripture. And the cherry on the cake is at the end of the, the video, they talked about the real science that proves the earth is flat and motionless. That's why I call it sea level. All right, that's why we don't feel the earth moving. All the stars move but the North Star. All real science points to it. But I got convinced because of scripture. So it's changed my life. It totally has. And people call me crazy. They disassociate me I get blocked it's crazy that how people deal with me now that I'm a flat earther because I'm out of the closet they say when you're talking about flat earth but I never understood it because as soon as I found out I was telling everybody I'm proactive but most flat earthers I find they're still in the closet they're not telling anybody about it they're keeping it to themselves I get called an idiot several times a day by my girlfriend's mom for for considering the possibility mm -hmm. that the earth might be other than an oblate spheroid flying through space in an in infinite amount of time and miles right well I that's all CGI it's animation and it's not real I understand that she don't understand that. She was. She's not willing to accept the possibility that that might even be the case. Is the situation? Well, somehow, some way, they brainwashed us so good that people are reacting, lashing out at at us when we tell them about it. Well, when you have unlimited resources and unlimited funding, you can you can pretty much make anything happen. You know, the government's been putting out whatever they want us to believe for since they've been around. Well, it's called television programming because it programs us. It tells lies and visions. It's not real. At the beginning of huge, like, like uh, movie studios. Right. Like, I think, it, what is it, Universal, at the very at the opening of every Universal movie, you have that curved earth picture yeah comes up on the tv every time you're watching companies it. that get huge government funding every yeah. year for for whatever they need now the universal logo has been using the globe since the early 20s and supposedly the first picture from space didn't come out until like the um 50s so how they know that it was a globe back then 
where they get that spinning globe from. Especially when you have all these older maps showing other things yes. than, than what they like to yes. give us. Um, I've been to the library several times. I have a video of where I go to the library and show the old maps showing the North Pole. I've gone there. It's on there. Check that video out. Old maps show more land. That's the name of the video. Um, so yes, I am. I love cartography. That's what map making is. I now know why old maps are so valuable. And these are made by people who knew what they were doing as well. Yes. You you, you didn't you didn't make it to that level mm -hmm. if you were a fool. Because when it comes to land surveying, you have to triangulate, and you can only triangulate on a flat plane. You can't triangulate on a curved plane. Your measurements would be wrong. So they knew back then the Earth was flat and motionless. And, the, and it was blasphemy to say otherwise. That it was. It was. Um, the globe lie <laughs> came from actually the Catholic Church. A priest came up with the heliocentric idea that we would evolve around the sun. A Cat Most people don't even know that a Catholic priest came up with that theory. You know, and anybody knows anything about the Catholic Church, you know, that's not what God has intended for us. You guys have gone the wrong way, you know. So what's important is people talk to God face to face. You know, take that time. Talk to him. That like he's in the room with you. That's what's important. And all these churches are teaching people half truths. You're only giving people half the truth. They don't even know the name of God. God's name is Yahuwah, and his son is Yeshua. Not one pastor in this town could have told me that. Nor did I ever hear about it for all the years I ever went to church. I've gone to all great many different churches. Yeah, I've been in plenty of churches in my life. Yeah. So, it's just amazing that our culture is all about this space and Star Wars and these movies and all the lies and deceptions about 9-11. You know, all these new generations think that these terrorists that pulled off 9-11. They don't know about Building 7 collapsing and there's video of it. They don't know about the firemen's testimony that they or explosions going on. They don't know about the Bin Laden family at the White House a day before the event. Right. They don't <laughs> research anything. Meanwhile, YouTube is filled with great videos. But they like to debunk it. So they're, if you type in Flat Earth, you're going to get 15 different debunker videos before you come across any real Flat Earthers page. That's how they buried mine. If you Even if you type my name in, I'm still buried down some. One of my favorite experiments was the, I think if I, if I might be mistaken, but the Kelvington Levels experiment. I don't know about that. Well, this guy was, wasn't sure about the shape of the earth, so he dug a trench about six miles long, okay? And he stood at one end of the trench and sent a boat down to the other end of it. Or maybe it was eight miles or so. Oh, I know what the trench. He put a flag on the back of the boat. Yeah, and he looked and through And he it. looked through a surveyor scope. And he's like, all right, well, I'll... I'll like accepted laws of physics today would say that this should be in invisible to right. me right now. Now, they us. say that the curvature is for every mile, it's eight inches squared. So the first mile is eight inches, next mile, second mile is 64, so on and so forth. So at that point, at that distance from him, that thing should have been completely... It should have been over six feet difference. Yeah, below the below the, below the horizon. Right. But it wasn't. It or was right there in, in plain it sight. It was in plain sight. So when ships sail away, they say they're sailing over the curb, but they're not. Because if you take anything and zoom back in on them, you can zoom back in on the hall. And the word horizon, if, if it's curving this way, then why does the horizon completely flat? Exactly. All right, it would have to curve that way too, and it doesn't. The reason it just disappears is because of the density. Now we got Google Earth and these movies. We just can't see through that much air. Eventually it, it clouds up. Good Christians know that we came from God. We didn't come from monkeys, so they already know about them lies. All right? But now we need to understand they're lying about space. Space is fake. There is water above us held up by the firmament. God's throne is right above us looking down on us. All right? This is a very special place in heaven. You know, heaven is the firmament. That's what God calls heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of the firmament which is what's called New Jerusalem and all these other things. I believe it's at the North Pole underneath the North Star where all the old maps show the four lands where the four rivers are. 
because that's important. The secret is Eden. They call it the fountain of the youth, and they call it, explorers look for it, the fountain of youth. Um, it's known by all sorts of different names throughout history, but as Christian, Christian would know it as Eden, where the garden is, and where the new city has been built. Because I believe it's already been built. I believe that there's so much missing in history that we don't even know. I believe that the earth is right now is only about 6,300 years old. And we have a lifespan of 7,000 years. Because if you read some scripture from Moses, it talks about the timing and revolution of the stars, which is important. It talks about the North Star. They call it Kolob in one of his books, but it's known to us as the North Star or Polaris. So I've, like, I've done my research. So I'm totally convinced, totally convinced. But I believe that I need to keep on going and uh, get the word out even more. Yeah, and I'll definitely be out there furthering my education on the matter and putting the word out. Yep. Regardless of the repercussions, the stares, That's the right. eyebrows, the Whether insults. it's good or bad publicity, it's publicity. And... Uh, Watertown needs that. Watertown needs something new and fresh. Because when I found out, everything became new again. Everything became new. That means I became like my own Indiana Jones. I'm on this journey. Every day I'm searching the old records and scriptures. I'm going after old artifacts. You know, I'm looking at old maps. You know, I'm doing what Indiana Jones... I just look out a whip. You know, I wish I had a whip and a cowboy hat. Woo! You know? Because there's an evil out there that's coming after our minds. And you know, it's about our souls. Because flat earth is a revelation of Jesus Christ. And when all these atheists who don't believe in God realize that earth is flat and motionless, and there's water above us held up by the firmament, and God's thrones above that, well, there's proof for God in that. It's a revelation of Jesus Christ that proves the scriptures. Genesis chapter 1 is the flat earth mecca because it's creation. Chapter 1, the first book in the first chapter talks about the firmament and it talks about the waters above. It talks about the moon and it's its own light. Yes. It doesn't reflect the sun. It talks about the sun coming into existence many days, several days after the earth where standard science would tell you the sun is far older than the earth. Now, the moon was created on day four, along with the sun with the sun, and the stars. The earth was created on day three. So earth was created before the stars and the sun and moon. But light was created first. First. Light was created back on day one, in the beginning. On day one, light was first, because God spoke and there was light. Above the surface of the waters. And then he made... The firmament was separated the waters from above, and then he made dry land appear on the third day. Fourth day, the sun, sun, the sun star, stars, and moon. And then on uh, day five was the plants and animals, and day six was man, Adam and Eve. Day seven, he rested, our Sabbath. So I know my Bible very well. Yes. And that's why I don't go to church. <laughs> I know my Bible so good, I don't go to church. That's because it's, I don't need it. I've surpassed the wisdom of all these pastors. They don't know how to interpret scripture at all. It's a show. And they all want money. God's broke all the time, I guess. You know, they always need money. Always need money. They're always panhandling. Literally with a pan. <laughs> and it I'm the panhandling. Some churches demand a certain amount. Yeah, it's crazy. But... I think that's going to conclude our first podcast that from my couch. That was pretty good. Yes. Well, all right, Zach. Thanks for having it, me. Man. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it again. And uh, you're my first guest, so thanks for uh, we're doing that. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching us.